Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another Artist Coaching Q&A version of the Artist Coaching Community Facebook group. And um, let me start off by saying that um, I've been writing a lot this week. I'm not sure to everyone uh, if you missed it, but I've started writing my own book, uh, including the story of my artist career, the ups, the downs, uh, and all the inside information that could be interesting to you or at least uh, fun to know. Uh, I've started writing it this week and right now I'm uh, well I'm nearly finished I've spent a lot of hours working on it and uh, the test version has been is going to be checked this week so I, I'm guessing it will be online uh, pretty quickly actually um, anyway that's, that's just something I've been working on this week thanks for sending in your questions again these are the answers to questions of last week yep last week uh, let's start off with the first one from Philip Baum. What's the best portal to release on Spotify? Well, there's actually several services uh, like TuneCore, DistroKid or CD Baby. But I think the most important thing what you should have a look at is which portals they actually uh, distribute their music to. Because I like TuneCore, I like the layout, I like the way it works. Uh, but I still believe until the day of today that um, they don't send out that it's not possible to send out your tracks to Beatport, for instance. So if you make techno or tech house music, that could be difficult because Beatport is a big uh, platform for that kind of genre. So uh, have a look at what platforms, what services offer, uh, because that could be important depending on what kind of music you make. But like I said, I like TuneCore, uh, but that's that's just my personal opinion. I would try them all and see uh, which you like the best. Patrick asks, I would like to start organizing my sample library. Um, should I take the time to look through everything and delete everything I don't know what to do with? Or would you recommend to start with the organizing structure with the ones that I got that I get and let the old stuff be the old stuff? Uh, great question. I think I would start with the new ones only because if you have to dive dive deeper into those uh, approximately 64 gigabytes that you mentioned uh, and go through all those samples, that's just a lot of work. Um, and maybe most of those packages aren't even high quality anymore. So I would recommend each time you buy a new package or with Splice you don't really have that problem. But let's say you still buy sample packs. Each time you buy a pack or you download a pack, go through it, select your favorite ones, put them in a separate folder underneath like snares, hi-hats, kicks, those kind of things. Um, and within a half a year from now or a year from now, you will have a big pile of samples that you like and that sound great. So I would start with the ones that you will download now. Philip asks, what's the best way to release uh, a track by yourself? Extended mix or cut version, and if we talk about platforms such as Spotify and iTunes, um, to me, what is the most important is that you reverse. If you think reversed about it, so if you make music that is uh, mostly interested to people who listen to pop music, Spotify would be the best platform, and iTunes or Apple Music as well. Because those are the platforms that are being used by people who are listening, well, to many kinds of music, but pop music is one of them. They On Spotify, it's not interesting to listen to club mixes because there's a long intro and a long outro, outro to it. So if you put your music on streaming services, I would definitely create a radio edit for it. Because if you listen on those platforms and you keep listening to songs with each a minute intro and a minute outro, you will it's just boring to listen to. But... If you upload your music to platforms like Beatport or TrackSource, uh, yeah, that's where I would create my, uh, that's where I would put my club edit because that's where DJs come to shop for their music, and DJs would like to have an intro and an outro. So think about the audience that is on that platform that you're going to put your music on because that depends on what kind of edit you should put on there. Um, I think that kind of answers your question. Who pays? 
and then Jess asks who pays for the music videos um, do the labels do that as part of the promotion and if so the, do the cost of the music video go against the money you would see from selling of your music in other words do you need to recoup yes a uh, great question actually music videos um, could be pay paid by the label or could be paid by yourself and that all depends on what kind of deal you make because um, you can, uh, if you don't have the money yourself, you can ask the label to, uh, well, put it in advance for you and pay it in advance, so they can create the music video, and they will recoup it from your, uh, well, from your royalties and stuff. So that's option one. So you don't have to spend the money uh, immediately, and you just don't get paid until you've earned enough to uh, to pay them back. Uh, so that's a risk-free option and if you pay it yourself or maybe you can do it yourself or maybe you have a friend who can do it for you uh, that could be a better option but it, it could go it could be either way you know it depends on what you prefer to do and it, pre uh, it depends on what the situation is but yeah labels could do it uh, and they will recoup it if that's in the deal so thanks guys for sending in your questions again. Um, if you still aren't a member of the artist coaching community yet, it's a Facebook group where we are with, I think, almost 900 DJs and producers, uh, regularly talking about music, music tips, uh, career tips, all that kind of things. Uh, and I do a Q&A like this every week. So if you have questions, you can put them in there and I will give you an answer on it. Um, if, you'll, if you're interested to join that group, go to my Facebook group and um, click on the community group and request access. I will grant you the access. It's free, so feel free to join. Um, that's it for this week. I will see you guys next week with some new answers. Thanks, guys. Bye.